In the coming few videos, we will talk about methods to prove statements or predicates. To avoid being too wordy, I will use the words statements and predicates interchangeably from now on. Before talking about how to prove a statement, let's see how we can disprove a special kind of statements first. Just so we're clear about the definition, to disprove a statement P is to show that P is false. That is, to show that not P is true. Consider the case where P is of the form for all x q of x. Then we know that not P is there is x not q of x. So to disprove P, we just have to show that not q of x not is true for some x not. This x not is called a counterexample to P. Let's consider this example. We want to disprove the statement. Every prime number is odd. We can write the statement as: for all x prime, x is odd. The negation is: there is x prime such that x is even. Can we find such an x? Yes, we can. And in fact, there is only one such x. It is two. Two is prime, and it is even. So we have shown that the statement is false. Because two is a counterexample. Let's try to disprove another statement. N cubed is greater than or equal to two to the n for every n greater than or equal to two. Here we just need to find one n such that n cubed is less than two to the n. We know that such an n exists because n cubed is a power function, which grows slower than the exponential function two to the n. We can find this n using brute force. That is, we check the values of n cubed and two to the n for every positive integer starting from two. When n equals two, n cubed is eight. Two to the n is four. Since eight is greater than four, n cubed is greater than two to the n. So we keep checking. When n equals three, n cubed is twenty-seven. Two to the n is eight. Twenty-seven is greater than eight, so we continue. Four cubed is sixty-four. Two to the four is sixteen. Not yet. Five cubed is one twenty-five. Two to the five is thirty-two. Still not there. Six cubed is two one six. Two to the six is sixty-four. More to go. Seven cubed is three four three. Two to the seven is one twenty-eight. So we see that the powers of two are catching up. Eight cubed is five one two. Two to the eight is two five six. Nine cubed is seven twenty nine. Two to the nine is five one two, almost there. Ten cubed is a thousand, and two to the ten is a thousand and twenty four. So finally, one thousand and twenty four is greater than one thousand. So ten cubed is less than two to the ten. So we have a counterexample n equals ten, and the statement is false.